Today on the channel, we come back at you like a boomerang with the DC McFarlane Collector's Edition, Captain Boomerang. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another DC Collector's Edition unboxing and review and today on the channel we got Captain Boomerang but for all your Captain Boomerang needs and a whole lot more make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store use the link in the description down below to support the channel as we always do say appreciate all the support out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there, and Captain Boomerang is back at it again for the first time in the DC McFarlane line. He was part of the Mattel line, of course. I believe he was in the Suicide Squad movie, if I'm not mistaken, as well. We know him mostly as a Flash villain, I guess, is where most people know him from. What? Oh, Todd McFarlane on the couch. Todd, what? Todd said he knows him best of all as a friend. So that's good. At least you got friends because we're on the outs, Todd. That's what I'm saying. We're on the outs. Oh, he just shrugged his toes at me again. What are we doing, Todd? But we got old Captain Boomerang looking only like a Captain Boomerang could look. We will unbox the Platinum version on the channel eventually, so stay tuned to that. But this is the regular edition here. Usual collector's edition style packaging. $30 price point. Not a fan. Gotta say it. Not a fan. What about you, Mark Summers? Mark Summers says he's not a fan either. He doesn't even collect toys. He's not even sure why he's here. Well, I'll fill you in later. Uh, but shout out to Mark Summers, the heavy on the couch. And Mark, you got your work to do. We got 12 and up on this one. 11-year-olds and under. Get him out of here, Mark. You know the drill by now. Captain Boomerang, of course, looking good. Everything uh, usually package design, part of these collector's editions. Always nice in the packaging with a little bit of the shine and a little bit of the sparkle. He's unlucky number 13 is what he is. DC Multiverse Captain Boomerang. Does say the Flash right there. 13 DC Multiverse there. A little glamour shot, a little comic book glamour shot back there. Looking interesting. But that's it. Let's get this old boomerang out of here. Everybody loves a boomerang. Unless you don't, of course. And I guess it's an Australian Frisbee, right? We got a lot of friends from Australia here. See you later. Goodbye. A lot of good Australians watching this channel, of course. And I say it all the time. I'm not a big world traveler. I'm not somebody that really wants to go on vacation. My vacation would be right in between Mark and Todd on the couch for a couple days. See you later. If I could, man, and I could be a rookie too. That's what I would do. But if I had to go anywhere, if somebody said, Kyle, you can go anywhere in the world, I'd go to Australia. That's where I'd go. See you later. Goodbye. DC, my friend, Stan, seen it before. We'll see it again. I'm all about Australia for some reason. So maybe one day, maybe one day, Kyle's Australian adventure. It would be great. There it is right there, old Captain Boomerang. Let's get him out of the package here. And man, he's locked in. Of course he is, Todd says. He's always got to lock these guys down. Soft goods coat on this one here. That's an interesting turn of events. We know Todd, he's pretty stingy with those soft goods. So it's good to see a little change of pace right here with that one. We're getting twist ties. We're getting tape. Oh, the Cambodian tape. Strong as ever. Strong as ever. Holding everything down. Oh my gosh, holding it all down here. And a lot of extra hands with Captain Boomerang, which that is nice, I guess. Our card going on. Well, that's it. See you later. A little twist on it. Twist ties flying through the air. That's what we got going on right there. But we're going to get down to business here. We're going to start off with that card first. Unfortunately, my card's got a little bit of a crease in it, but what are you going to do? We do get these stands. Absolutely hate them, Todd McFarland. Don't feel we need these. Don't want any more of them. I don't know what to do with them, but we do got those. So we got that for our stamp for our card. Same card art on the back. Real name, George Digger Harkness. George Digger Harkness is a mercenary and a killer with an aptitude for boomerangs. I mean, there's worse things to be uh, really good at. And other projectiles. Antagonistic and often annoying to those around him, he has fought the Flash and since his incarceration has become a member of Task Force X, a.k.a. the Suicide Squad. How about that? I remember that from the movie, of course. Uh, but yeah, very interesting, throwing boomerangs around, I don't know. And Speaking of boomerangs, I just threw the boomerangs off, let me go, oh my gosh, what are we doing? That's right, Todd, what are we doing? I threw the boomerangs with the packaging. Let me go get that, we'll be back, talking all things Captain Boomerang. Alright, we're back, 
much like a boomerang with two boomerangs right here two of the exact same things two silver boomerangs very interesting like i said earlier the frisbee of australia they don't have frisbees in australia just boomerangs and in america here where i am we don't have boomerangs we just have frisbees so it's a wild turn of events and i could have just made all that up right now but frisbee golf is a huge thing where i'm from probably you as well something uh my area has like the most courses in the united states i believe and i wonder if anybody's ever tried frisbee golf with a boomerang for a little extra hard uh, hardness out there a little more toughness i don't know maybe the more you know the more you know Getting some extra hands with the old good captain here. He's got two fists of Captain Boomerang Fury out of the package. Nobody's using those fists for him. They're putting on them boomerang hands is what they're going to do. And we do get two of those gripping hands for such boomerangs right there if need be. We also get two splayed out hands here. He's ready to do it. He's ready to do some jazz dancing. Who knows? He might be up to things like that. But now we get Captain Boomerang, and first look at this captain here. He looks like a guy that would be like down at the dock saying, "Oh, I got a boat. You want to get you want to get to the island? All right, you pay me enough money, I'll get you to that island." He he feels kind of like one of those guys. He's, he's got the shipwreck style hat on there with a boomerang on it though, keeping it on brand, nice and blue. Got some big old mutton chops right there in a nice orange color. Man, those are some some nice mutton chops. They would make Mike Nesmith blush back in the 60s in the monkeys. That's what that would do right there. But it does look good. Head sculpt looks pretty good, all things considered. A little sly mouth on him, just a little bit of a curvature there. Some blue eyes that really, uh, really set off with his beanie hat there looking really good. We do get that big soft goods coat here. Very, very nice leather type coat. Feels real good. Probably pleather, I would imagine. A really nice blue color. And then he's got a scarf. You know, it gets cold out there on the sea or on the land. He does got a scarf here looking very nice as well. I was wondering, is this scarf removable? It is. It kind of tucks underneath, underneath his sideburns there, but it is removable uh, by all looks of things. Yes, it is. You can slide it right off if you want to. And you can also take the jacket off, which we will do. Look at that. He's got a little bandolier over the top, and he's keeping it on brand. He's got three more boomerangs. He seems like a guy that would have hidden boomerangs all over. He's hiding them in his pockets. He's got little things that come out of his wrist. He's just ready to throw a boomerang at a moment's notice. Got very, uh, once again, like a ship's captain shirt underneath. This could be a shipwreck figure is what it could be. He's got that blue under there. He's got blue pants down into the black boots. Very official looking there, of course. Articulation arms go all the way around. Going to be a little tough, though, with this coat to get all the articulation there. And I wouldn't be shocked if this is the exact same coat we got with the Bane figure at San Diego Comic-Con last year. I think it was. I think it was uh, the same coat going on. But it is your usual McFarlane articulation I can see inside there. you got the butterfly shoulder, double-jointed, pinned elbows, hands removable back, four side to side. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist, those big old boomerang splits. you got to be able to do the splits if you're throwing a good boomerang. We know that. Leg does go up. You do get double-jointed, pinned at knees. No boot cut, but you do get an ankle cut back and forth, side to side. Toe articulation, the McFarlane way, of course. Uh, but looking good, all things considered, in the articulation department. And for me, of course, the Platinum Edition will look different. He's got a different coat on, different scarf on, so there's some differences there. I'd go one step further and have one probably with the jacket on, one with the jacket off, one with a fisted hand and a boomerang, maybe the other one with an open hand and a boomerang. Make them feel as different as possible, as we always do say here on the channel, of course. But does he fit on a McFarlane stand? Boy, he better. He came with it, after all. And what do you know? The good captain fits on the boomerang. <laughs> fits on the boomerang, fits on the stand, but he also fits on a boomerang, I am sure. But Captain Boomerang, not bad. It is not a tippy-top villain. It is not a tippy-top character from at least where I sit. And you guys know, right here at this very table is where I sit. A lot of times, a lot of hours a week, I sit right here. Uh, but he is not a top-level villain. It feels kind of weird to get him in this collector's edition line. For the most part, for the most part, heavy, heavy hitters. But I'm always glad we get a new character in the line, so it's always a good day at the office when we get a new character. So Captain Boomerang coming in extra hot with a boomerang today. But what's your thoughts on this Captain Boomerang? Is he a pickup for you? A long game, a pass, a no game? He can't be a no game, could he? Let me know your thoughts, though, in the comments down below. And you made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, best way to support this YouTube channel. Appreciate all the support over there. You can also support the channel for us at tees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Captain Boomerang, Todd and Mark on the couch, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.